Want to learn how to use MyFitnessPal on your Apple Watch? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the MyFitnessPal app to your Apple Watch and show you what it can do. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Kevin and I'm a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. And on this channel, you'll find workouts, recipes, reviews, and fitness tips. So if any of those things can help you on your fitness journey, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when I post out something new. So MyFitnessPal on your Apple Watch. First and foremost, you need to have the MyFitnessPal app on your iPhone. You can download it from the App Store, and once you create an account, you're good to go. If you've been using MyFitnessPal forever and never thought to look on your Apple Watch for the app, you may have it installed already. This is only if you have auto install enabled on your Apple Watch. This means that apps on your iPhone that have an Apple Watch specific app are automatically synced into your Apple Watch. Keep in mind though that if you just downloaded MyFitnessPal a few moments ago, it may take a while for it to actually sync to your watch. And if you don't have auto installs enabled, you can go ahead and go to the Apple Watch app and scroll down to see available apps that you can download onto your watch. So now you know how to install the MyFitnessPal app onto your Apple Watch. Now let me show what you can actually do with it. And before I explain, if you're getting value out of this video, let me know what you think in the comments below. So there are two reasons why you might want to have the MyFitnessPal app on your Apple Watch. The first is to get an at-a-glance view of your progress throughout the day. How well are you on your proteins? How well are you on your carbs? How well are you doing on your overall calories? The app on your watch will allow you to see just that very quickly. The second reason why you might want to have the MyFitnessPal app on your Apple Watch is to quickly add water and calorie intake. And I'm going to show you all that right now. First, find and tap the MyFitnessPal app from the home screen of your Apple Watch. The first screen you see is labeled Nutrients. And here you'll see an overview of your calories, carbs, fats, and proteins. For each of those categories, there are progress rings to show how much you've consumed of each. If you swipe left, you'll be taken to the Add Water screen, which will allow you to add as many ounces of water as you like by swiping through the counter. You can also scroll using the digital crown. There are also 12, 8, and 17 ounce presets available. Keep in mind that this is only an Add Water feature. It doesn't display your current intake of water. Swiping left from here will bring you to the Quick Add screen. Just like your ounces of water, you can swipe through to add calories as well as their corresponding meals. And all this data is automatically synced. It's important to note, however, that with Quick Add, unless you have MyFitnessPal Premium, you won't be able to add a name or nutrients to the item you added. You'll only have the calories logged. The next screen is also labeled nutrients, just like the first screen. However, rather than differently colored progress rings, you have progress bars all in blue. This doesn't display calories, but it does show macro and micronutrients, including protein, carbs, fiber, sugar, fat, saturated fat, polyunsaturated fat, monounsaturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, and iron. Additionally, it shows how many of each nutrient you have remaining in your daily totals, with a bar representing just that. Finally, if you swipe left, the last screen you'll see is the step screen, and this keeps track of how many steps you've taken today. Keep in mind that you need to make sure that you've enabled step tracking in MyFitnessPal using the Apple Watch, otherwise it may track steps automatically from your phone. To do this, you need to go to the MyFitnessPal app, click more on the bottom right corner, scroll down to steps, and then choose Apple Watch as your device. This may require you to update your health app permissions. So that's how you add MyFitnessPal to your Apple Watch and all the different things that you can do with it. If there are any other MyFitnessPal questions you might have, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I like to do tutorials and tips like this for all sorts of fitness related content. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.